Hello, welcome to today's show. This is the Building Consultant Show, where we seek to educate, challenge, and inspire you on your journey of construction. My name is Sam Onyoike, and today I want to talk about another alternative technology that is called the beam and block technology. The beam and block technology is also another technology that is also that is gaining a lot of momentum in construction today, especially in Kenya. The, the name beam and block comes from the fact that the technology is done using what we call a precast block and a precast beam that are brought to site and that they are joined together to form a slab. So this technology is normally used as an alternative flooring system from the conventional, which is reinforcement with concrete that is poured on the reinforcement to form the solid slab. One thing I want to mention about this technology is the fact that the materials that are prepared, they are usually prepared out of sight and the main structural component is the beam. The beam would come either as a T-beam, what we have here is a T-beam, or a flat beam. The beam itself is made of high strength concrete and reinforced with a high tensile reinforcement rods. First, the, the beams are laid and then the blocks are put in between those beams to form what we call a beam and a block. The beam and block. And hence, that's where the name is derived. But this is usually done with the main beams around the building first being done then you lay your your precast beams and and blocks and after that uh, you will require a topping to cover to, to to finish the slab this topping can either be done using mortar it could also be done using concrete and the concrete can be reinforced will be reinforced either with brc fabric mesh or with another product that we call the fiber mesh this helps to prevent cracking in, in, the, in the topping of the slab. So about the cost, I would challenge you to first do the math and be able to, to, to compare between the beam and block system vis-a-vis -vis the conventional before you procure the, the product. But other advantages of the same, it enables you to do the project fast First, it reduces the amount of formwork that is required. You would require very little formwork, especially only formwork required is, is on the beams, the main beams of the house. But the slab will require no formwork at all. Secondly, the construction is rather very fast. So that ensures you to be able to do your building at a faster rate than the conventional. You require very little or no reinforcement on the slab. And because of the escalating prices of reinforcement, then it would achieve a degree of economy. The blocks are hollow, which reduces the overall weight of the slab and also ensuring that there is economy. Besides, they reduce the amount of material that goes into it. Therefore, the cost of purchasing the blocks and the beam also goes down. Nevertheless, the hollow also helps in insulation and also reducing on noise because they also trap in the noise between the voids. Before you install this beam and block technology, it will be very important for you to get the input from a specialist, either a structural engineer who is a consultant or a producer of the manufacturer of the same where they have specialists who would give you specifications for your house. Not all house panels or houses would use the same format of this technology. So kindly get a specialist before you install not only this beam and block, but any of the alternative technology and including the conventional method to be able to get your house or get your building firm and secure. That is it for today. 
Thank you for tuning in. Kindly subscribe, like our channel, and share widely. And in case you have a question, a suggestion, or a comment, kindly reach out to us via the comment section. And you can also contact us via email. Also, in case you would want to purchase of the same, where we can be able to give you a link to the, the producer. Thank you very much.